All right, I'm out here with uh, kind of a new gun. It's kind of a hybrid here because uh, this is my existing CZ P10C. This is an original CZ made gun, I uh, mean Czech Republic. Uh, this gun was fully worked over by Mod 1 Firearms out in Kentucky. He stippled the frame, Cerakoted it, installed an HBI industry or HB Industries trigger kit. Uh, we, I put a Apex tactical length mag release on it. This was one of the original ones that had a full ambidextrous mag release that was uh, pretty stiff and I didn't care for the ambi. So Apex uh, seemed to have solved that issue. I put a CZ custom extended uh, slide release on it. Uh, and I love this gun. Uh, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Problem with it for me was it was an iron sight gun and I didn't want to cut it. Uh, the, the other upper that I have for this lower is just factory. Uh, it's got some machining done by Mod 1 with the same uh, Sig Dark Gray Cerakote on it. And so I put a P10C optics ready gun on order with CZ back in, I think, March. And it came in. Uh, so I'm waiting on the paperwork to clear with the state of Washington. So I basically stole the upper from the dealer and left the lower there. So I put it on this lower and it works fine in this lower. So that's good. This is a USA made top end and a check made uh, lower receiver and it seems to work. And so I have a plate system here from CZ and this one is meant for the Leopold Delta Point Pro. On my CZ P10S optics ready, I have an RMR. And I figured uh, instead of just doing another RMR or Hollow Sun, you know, 507, I figured let me do one that I haven't done before. And since this is more of a fuller size gun, doesn't really intended, not, not for me, for concealed, I don't mind the bigger, the bigger dot. So I went with the two and a half MOA single dot. With my astigmatism, I seem to see the dot better than I do the triangle or the delta. So I've got that. I've got the Surefire X300 on it. And the reason I'm doing this is because of my Safari Land belt system here. I'm using a holster that grabs it on the Surefire. Otherwise, I could take that off and just run it on my Universal Safari Land holster. But the extra little bit of weight does does make a difference, so I don't mind it there. So I'm going to give it a give it a sighting in right now. Um, I've never shot this gun yet with this upper, so I'm going to sight it in and just kind of see what it is. But I figured I'd give you a, a look at it before I do it. I also want to talk to you about mag extensions. Uh, this is a factory CZ plus two. This one was Cerakoted to match the gun, but uh, it works great. Um, plastic, cheap. I think they're like 10 bucks retail for just the extension. Uh, I think the 17 and 19 round guns already come with them on there from the factory, but uh, I like it a lot. I don't mind these at all. They're cheap. But if you want to get extra capacity, uh, I really like these Shield Arms mag extensions. These are all uh, machined aluminum. They use a, a two-piece system. So this that set screw pulls this base plate off, this little floor plate. And then right below it, there's another set screw that puts this retainer pin down and locks the body to the magazine. Uh, you can just take that off and then the whole body slides off, but you can basically service the gun uh, with just taking this one single screw out. You don't have to take the whole thing apart. And these give me plus five. So on a 15 round P10C mag, plus five gives me 20 rounds, which makes it a whole lot simpler to load, simpler to count. This one gives me 17 rounds. So a little bit uh, trickier to keep track of my rounds, but yeah, these, these shield arms, mag extensions. I've got them both for the C's and the S's. The S also gives you five rounds. Um, I like them a lot. I don't see any real downside to them. They, they fit nice and flush to it. Um, yeah, it, it just looks good. I, I don't have any issues. Um, I'll put a link below in the notes to, uh, in the video description to get to that as well as the, the shield, uh, the CZ one, but, um, yeah. I love everything about these guns. The CZs just shoot great for me. So let's, uh, I'll uh, look for another video on the channel for shooting this gun.